Welcome back to the therapy room. My, it's been a while. So, today, I'm bored. So I thought, I've been asked a question about this, the Genure Rotary tool. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the things that I do with that. And, but today, I am going to build a bird box using the following. So as you can see, I've got the old wood there. This bit is going to be the backboard. Okay. And the I need screws, which is there. The drill, which is there. I've got my saw there because I don't have a T-square, so I've got my 45 degree angles off of that. And my pencil. I've also got um, my Stanley Fat Max there, so that, that'll be a, my rip or I'll do as good on to that. I've also got these things. So, this is the one here, the big one. I'm going to be using this. Uh, let me just get it off. Right. So I'm going to be using that, and that is going to be to drill the hole in the front for a wee birdie to get through. So, that will do, deal with that. And then, of course, as I said, in the corner there, there's the rotary tool. That's currently sitting just now. I've preloaded it with a drill bit, a very thin drill bit. Because one of the things about working with thin wood like this, um, if you do a prime hole into it, your screw doesn't split the wood and it'll all stick together better. So it's just a wee project though, it's no very professional. Okay, so there's the disclaimer out the way right away. And if I'll just bring this back to you. So maybe it's time to go and crack on. Here we go. Okay. First thing I need to do is I need to take my wood, I need to measure it, then I need to cut it. So I'll be back when I've done that. Right, so first thing I've done then, that is now the sides cut. Lovely. So what I've now got to do is put them on to the sides. Oh, better with that going at that end. Right. Like so. So what I'll do is we won't get the Dremel tool. Okay. Now this might get a bit noisy, so if you want, turn your volume down. It is not a problem. didn't hurt. Right, a couple of screws and back on the side again. Now, what I'll need to do is because I've been pretty stupid. I've moved this and no held it in place. So, So now I've got the two screws to match, I can make sure that they actually centre up with the holes. Now look at that, that's going necklace. Excellent. Now, we do the same again on the other side. So, now I think what we'll need to do is actually, in case you never go that, right there you go, on here. I've just, that's a thing I've learned, I need to get a separate TV screen fixed to this thing so that I can show you what I'm actually doing. Right, so again, back on with this. Bollocks. 
Well, that didn't work, did it? Let's hope they do that without moving, so. That's the screw in the wood, by the way, that's no me. I'm not that old. Right. Just like Lev TV, this is it. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Last hope. just noticed the deliberate mistake there and the deliberate mistake is I forgot the angle then for the roof to go on so to be fair uh, it's, a, it's a free house so there's, uh, there's nothing wrong with you I'll be there a flat roof type house so doesn't need a pitch on it so right so now that I've got as you can see the main bit for the box and then there's your I was going to screw onto the tree right I need to now get a length now to be fair that's actually okay at that a perfect effect to that so what I need is uh, I need to pick an area for the base and then I also need to pick an area for the front so but what I'm hoping for is to have a bit left for the riff now, I've not got much need to do a riff is it so I'll go and uh, scrape that up and then I'll go and cut that back in a minute right oh we're coming on now like a house on fire so as you can see I've cut the template for the bottom okay I've also screwed the template on and now, sitting with us, so, I'm maybe better if I come back of it here, that way I get you to see it. So, all I've got left to do now is, roof, front door, and a wee hole in the front. So, I've already jumped ahead and cut the size, so there's the front door, and you'll notice it's actually, <laughs> it's a really good wooden floor and it's a, a laminate that I'm using, very thick. Not your average uh, B and Q crap that you get for three ninety nine for sixteen square meter. Uh, and what I've done is I'm going to use the brown side instead of the plain side because that way I feel it'll blend in to the background and scenery of the tree a bit better for the bud. So, with further ado, let's get this one. Okay, now we're back, I'm at the final stages, and to be fair, we're nearly there. So, to make a half decent finishing job on this, and I'll just come, I'll just come down the level of the camera, if I can, no I can't, right there you go, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to attempt to cut out this bit here, right, and what I'm going to use to do it is my Dremel. Now, this has got a cracking extra here. Or should I say one of the many extras here? And it's this wee thingy here. Right? Now, unfortunately, I'm not sure uh, it doesn't work with this. So, give us a second. I'm going to get it set up. Okay, we're back. Now, I've got this boy sorted out here. That's a bad boy. There you go. And what I've put on uh, is 
this wee attachment, this wee cutting drill, okay, and basically it's a smaller version of this, my router, okay. So rather than taking a big router like that, which to be fair I've not used yet, so maybe I should use that, but it just shows you the portability of these things if you've not got something like that. So, first things first, let's see if it does work and we'll try and cut with us. No speed. Right, that's obviously no up to the job. Right, oh, it will do it, but as you can see, it's, it's, it's going to take its time, right? So, oh, well, and that'll be a cut. Right, this is a world's first for me. I'm going to try and use my router, but because of the way the chamber is and with the poor light that I've got in here, uh, I'm going to use it upside down. But, I'm going to have to have this attached it because the amount of dust and wood that comes off of this um, So, I'm going to put my mask on for this Right And then, what we'll see is We'll see how this works out So Right, oh Fuck's sake, I hate wearing these things, you know not Right. Okay, we're good to go. Noise on. Okay. fresh air into there. Now, <laughs> kind of semi nearly work. <laughs> Perfect me wee bit of goodgery goodgery with this bit here, but if I put it up to the bug box, you know what? That's okay. I'm going to take another shot at that because I'm going to see if I can get a straighter line just because as you can see on the top there right and I'm thinking more for the the waterproof and uh, for the wee birdies inside there I'm not even sure if I should put a wee bit of silicone or something onto this just to see if I can uh, at least make it watertight for the top down there because you wouldn't like it yourself so here's a couple of minutes and I'll come back Well, that's even worse. Plan B. Right, I'll hit the mute button there. Sorry about that. Definitely need to go. Well, that was a blessing, I suppose. You couldn't hear nothing. Right. But I need to definitely get the uh, new drill bit, so that's a set. So, in all honesty, and for spare wood, there you go. So, I've gave it an overlap. Right. Now, there you go. Oh, you know what? Let's bring it round a bit. There you go. And that's it. There's your roof. There's a hole for the wee birdie to go into. Lovely wooden sides. And of course, 
a solid wooden base be a, a nice finish inside and then I've got a wee bit of here I'll just use this bit to screw it to the tree and of course the fact that it's just made it old wood right as I said it doesn't need to be fancy um, well <laughs> at the end of the day uh, it wasn't a fancy so <laughs> but uh, here's hoping it works um, I hope you've liked what I've done when I've used my different various tools I'm actually going to do a video on this one on the Junior because I would really like to use this thing you know the Junior the, uh, it's a Katsu and it's a as I say, well, it's a full, a full router cut up and there's additionals and extras that came with it as well with a plunger and things like that. So, on that note, thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you've never actually seen any of my stuff and you're not a subscriber, then please subscribe for to see more garbage like this. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da!